Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello YouTubers and welcome back to my channel, How to Paint Watercolours. And I've stretched my paper, which means I've wetted both sides, allowed it to stretch. And then I'm just removing any excess water from around the sides to minimise any runbacks. create some light coming across the mountains here to light them up so I'm going to light it from the left to the right <clears throat> I'll just dry off those mountains maybe the path a little bit back to my Naples yellow and a bit around the house this is transparent yellow Strengthening up the Naples yellow. Manganese violets and French ultramarine, just mixed to the red side a little bit. Manganese violet and French ultramarine again, but mixed to a blue side. The other one was mixed to a red side. Schultz Marine and Permanent Crimson. And I just want to drop a little bit in here for some clouds. I'm just going to take a piece of kitchen towel and I just want to bring out some lighter areas. Just creating a lot of interest in the sky. And we're just going to allow that to dry naturally. Okay, now your sky is nearly dry. It is dry, but the paper is still damp. So I'm just going to re-wet this mountain area. Naples yellow, just allowing this to drift down. Some raw sienna. This is like a olive green colour. And it's made from transparent yellow plus raw sienna plus French ultramarine and a tiny bit of raw umber. Peeling it off as you come into this side a little bit of burnt sienna with just a touch of French ultramarine in it and this one has a little bit more ultramarine in it it's just a little bit darker Pulling it slightly into where the rocky outcrop is. Soften off the bottom. Just adding some directional streaks in. While we're here. Just add some clean water to these bushes and this little grassy area. Touch of raw sienna. of the green re-wetting this side such a raw sienna some naples yellow once again some of the green transparent yellow raw sienna plus french ultramarine with a touch of raw umber just gives you that greeny gold look 
I've just been this idea, I just want to put some burnt sienna with French ultramarine. And we're going to leave that to dry. Now that your background mountain's dry, I'm going to re-wet this second set of mountains here, or big hills. Here we go, French ultramarine and permanent crimson. Some of your sky mix, yeah? I'm just going to test it for strength. And we'll begin to drop some trees in. Start above where you put the water in and pull, pull downwards into the water. Peeling off into the distance. Into that I'm just going to drop some dark green colour. Transparent yellow raw sienna, French ultramarine and just a touch of raw umber. Now and again, just dropping a little bit of detailing, but not much. As I've said before, your eye will mix this and it will tell you that they are trickies. Just removing any excess water. Back to the sky colour. Doesn't really matter as we go behind these. Some raw sienna. Your Naples yellow along the bottom. These are the Turner paints I'm using. They're absolutely glorious to use. They're really, really good. So I'm going to take some French Ultramarine and Burnt Umber, mix to a neutral kind of shade. Just drop some of this in as well. down with the fall of land, just beginning to shape it. Some light red and French ultramarine. Taking some of your tree colour once again, the dark green. I'm just going to drop some in here along the shoreline and just allow it to creep up. Maybe there's some bushes and trees here. Ultramarine and burnt umber once again. Mix to a really dark. we're going to allow that to dry. Now that section's dry, I'm just going to take some of the manganese violets and French ultramarine and water it down so it's very watery, almost like a, a glaze. And we'll just see how this looks as we come back to the mountains and we're going to put some a shadow on it. I hope that's showing up on the camera. It has to be really pale as it's in the background. Just strengthening it up in one or two little areas. Soften off one or two of the lines with a damp brush. Then taking some clean water once again. Come to the water area and we'll just re-wet it. 
Okay, I've laid the board flat and, and I'm just making sure that the area is nice and wet. Naples yellow, all horizontal strokes. Some transparent yellow. Some of the violet from the sky, manganese violet and French ultramarine. Manganese violet and French ultramarine again, but this is to the red side. And then some of the French ultramarine and permanent crimson. Gently bring the colours together. Taking your dark green, transparent yellow, raw sienna, French ultramarine and a touch of raw umber. We'll just drop these in. Just for a, a little bit of reflection. A little bit of French ultramarine and burnt umber. Drop in a bit more of the green in just to Strengthen it up. Just a little bit more of the dark colour, French ultramarine and burnt umber. I'm just going to re wet the path while we're here. A bit of French ultramarine and light red. French ultramarine and light red again, but this one's a little bit darker. Breaking open my little mop brush. I'm going to come to these trees at the back, these bushes, and we can begin to start to separate them. Some of the light red and the Prince Ultramarine. Some of the even darker mixture. Just going to let all this dry for a moment or two. The transparent yellow raw sienna, French ultramarine and raw umber. And I'm just going to touch the tops of these in. It's just to add a tiny bit of green to this autumny looking picture. French ultramarine and burnt umber again but this is the darker one, the more neutral one. I'm just going to bounce in just a little shadow. Taking a damp brush and I'm just going to soften the bottoms in. And just taking some of the raw sienna I'm going to run it into this little oak tree, creating some rough bark. French ultramarine and burnt umber. This is the one that's slightly to the brown side. French ultramarine and burnt umber once again, but this is taken to the blue side, so it's quite dark, very, very dark. I'm just going to drop this in down this side. Rest there a minute. I'm going to take some of your sky colour and I'm just going to put this roof in. French ultramarine and permanent crimson. Whilst it's still wet, I'm going to drop in some of the darker green. Just helping to soften it in. Taking my rigger brush, take some of this dark green. I'm going to add a little bit of the um, French ultramarine and burnt umber to it, just to send it down another shade or two. Some tops of these trees in. Just taking a detailed brush, and I'm just. 
just letting the brush dance from side to side. Just going to drop it on this side. Some of the transparent yellow. Also I want to drop into it French Ultramarine and Burnt Umber. This is the neutral shade. to this one same thing again A little drop of the transparent yellow and the French ultramarine and burnt umber clean water and I'm just going to re-wet the side of this cottage or farmhouse a little bit here as well a little bit of cobalt blue I'll take some of the sky color again French ultramarine and permanent crimson Just pulling one or two of the shadows out on the building. Prince Ultramarine and Burnt Umber once again. Softening that edging. of water again underneath the eaves here ultramarine and burnt umber just dropping a shadow some red chimney pots on and now I just want to turn the board round and I can then start to put the branches on the oak tree French ultramarine and burnt umber once again just a little of the yellow green with the light red and French ultramarine just dropping some raw sienna in here to add some more French ultramarine and burnt umber to that Just pull the tops out of the trees. Just using French Ultramarine and Burnt Umber. Darken that down again. Continue to pull your tree out. Ultramarine and burnt umber. Darker at the bottom. French ultramarine and burnt umber once again. Just re wet this grassy area. And we can begin to strengthen it all up. Sienna, some of my yellow green, strengthening up the raw sienna. To these, back to these trees now we can soften the the roots in. You at this grass area? Sienna. 
a little bit of burnt sienna. green again, just streak it through, streak it in. I just want to drop a little in here. I want to bring this edge out quite dark under the trees. Just using all the all the greens now on the, the dark colours, the dark greens. Softening it in a little bit. So we're just going to leave this to dry. <clears throat> just come back to the path now while everything is getting on for being dry. This is French ultramarine and a light red. Once it's on, so you can just take a few stones and pebbles out. Soften the edges in. As we come a little bit further out, let's make them a little bit darker. down a little bit. A couple of blades of autumn grass. A couple of windows in it. Some birds I think. to <clears throat> turn the board on its side once again and I just want to re-establish the shoreline to make sure it's level and straight so you can find out. This is just a craft knife blade. A couple of wind streaks. Just shows a bit of movement in the water. That's where you get to the best bit. This is where you get to sign it, mount it and frame it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please click the like button and subscribe. Subscribers are always welcome and it won't cost you anything. I'll leave a few suggestions for videos that are made for YouTube at the end of this video in a minute. And you can have a look at them if you want to. I'll leave a full list of videos in the description box. And if you click on that link, it will take you straight to them. And I'll leave a link in should you want to view or have a look at these watercolour paints from Turner's. They are artist quality and they really are affordable and I just love them. Once again, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. So, thank you.